Good job, everyone. Thank you for tuning in this morning. We have 20 people here in the Bark Sanctuary, and we have hundreds of you watching from your homes this morning as we celebrate Shabbat. We open up our prayer books, the Lev Shalem Sidor, and we turn to page 147 as the cantor begins our prayers with Shochenat. Shochenat marom vekadosh mo vekadu branenu tzadikim branenu tzadikim badomai la yisharim nava vehiya vefisharim titalal udivrei tzadikim vidbarach uvilshon chasidim titromam uvekerev kedoshim Hit Kadash, who make a lot rivevot, am Chavit Yisrael. Lehodot lehale lesharech lefael eromim lehale levarech lehale olekaleis al kodim erei shirot vedish mechot David ben Yishai of the Chameshiche. Yishtabak shimcha l'ad malkeinu. Berachot vehodahot me'ata ve'ad olam Baruch ata Adonai El melech gadol batish vachot El lahodot Adonai niflaot Avocher v'shirei zimera Rise, page 148. <laughs> Barach, we stop up with party from a bit, not say, we eat a dog, we eat a lev, we eat a lal, Shemene Kudesha, the Riku, the Elamin Kobi Hata, the Shirata, Tushbehata, the Nehemata, the Amiram, the Alma, the Himeru. Barku et Adonai Havorach, Baruch Adonai Havorach, Eolam Vaed, Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Yotzer Arvore Choshech, Se Shalom, Uvore et You may be seated, we continue page 150. Let's 
שרפים באופנים בחיות הקודש. תתפרח כמו שני ואשבח מעשה ידיך ועל מאור האור שעשית איפרוך הסלע. וכולם פותחים את פיהם בקדושה ובתורה, בשירה ובזמרה ובזמרה, ומברכים ומשבחים, ומפארים ומעריצים, ומקדישים וממליכים. להקדיש ליוצרם בנחת רוח ושפה ורורה ובנימה קדושה, כולם כאחד עונים ואומרים ביראה, קדוש, 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 אדוני צבאות, ולא כל הארץ כבודו. והאופנים מחיות הקודש ברעש גדול מתנשאים לעומת צרפים, ליומתם משבחים ואומרים, ברוך כבוד אדוני. אור חדש על ציון, על ציון תאיר, ונזכה ברוכת אדוני יוצר המאור. את הוליכנו קוממיות, קוממיות לארצנו, כי אל פועי נשועות אתה, ובאנו בחרת מכל עם ולשון, כי רבתנו לשמך הגדול, סלע סלע. ברוכת אדוני, הבוחר עמו ישראל, באהבה. שמע ישראל, אדוני אלוהינו, אדוני אחד. ויאהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך, ובכל נפשך, ובכל מאודיך. והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכים את הרעיון על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ונברת אבם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. You continue silently, top of 156. Those of you at home who are wearing metallic, it's time to take the tzitzit on the corners, put them together and join with me in the beginning, in the middle of the page, so Vayomer. Vayomer Adonai el Moshe lemor daber el bene Yisrael gamarta aleihem veyastu lahem tzitzit al kanfei bigdehem ledorotam venatnu al tzitzit akanaf petil techeilet vehayalachem le tzitzit 
Uri temoto uschar temet kal mitzvot Adonai baasitem otam velotaturu acharei levavchem veacharei einichem asheratem zonim achareihem lema anetiz keru azidemet kal mitzvot ay vitem kenoshim le loheichem ani Adonai eloheichem asherot zeiti etchem. May Eretz Mitzrayim liot lachem le Elohim, Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Adonai Eloheichem, Amen. Le dor vador kayam ushmo kayam vechison achon umalchuto vemunat ola at kayam. One fifty-seven. Odeinu matzileinu me'olam shemecha Ein Elohim zulatecha Middle of 158 Moshe o Miriam of Israel achan hu shira besimcha raba ve'amru kulam mika mochav elim Adonai mika mochan edar vakodesh norat elot norat elot ose ose fel shira chadasha. Please rise. Israel, Israel. Israel We join together the opening of the Amida, page 159. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Lea, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibar, Hanora, El Elion, Romel Chasadim Tovim, Mekone, Hakol. Bezochen chaste avot, ume vigo elivene venehem, le man chemo beahava, melechozeru fogeru moshia umagain, baruch ata adonai, magain Abraham ufokein sara, atagi borle olam adonai, lechaye metimata. Rav lehoshia, mechakei uchayim bechesed, bechayim edim berachamim rabim, tzomeich nofrim berofei cholim, umatir asurim, umekayim emonato, tisheine Yeshua, when a man at a lehachayot met him, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mechayeha met him. One sixty one. Nekadeshet Shimchaba Olam, 
כי שם שמקדישים אותו בשמי מרום, ככתוב על יד נביאיך, וקרא זה לזה ואמר, קדוש קדוש קדוש, אדוני צבאות, אלוך עוד ארץ כבודו. אז בקול רעש גדול, אדיר וחזק משמיע מתנשאים לעומת שרפים, לעומתם ברוך יומנו, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו. ממקומך מלכינו תופיע, ותמלוך עלינו, כי מחכים אנחנו לך. מתי? מתי תמלוך בציון, מקרוב לימינו לעולם ועת תשכון. תתגדל ותתגדש בתוך ירושלים, ירושלים עירך לדור ודור. ולנצח נצחים. ועינינו תראנה, תראנה מלכותך, כדבר האמור, שירי עוזך על ידי דוד, על ידי דוד, על ידי דוד. אם לא חדונה לעולם אלוהייך ציון, לדור ודור, הללויה. לדור ודור נגיד גודלך, ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש. בשבחך אלוהינו, מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד. כי אל מלך גדול וקדוש אתה, ברוך אתה אדוני, האל. We continue silently, pages 162 to 166. Please be seated as you conclude the Amidah. Continue with Kaddish Shalem, page 167. Mikadal mitkala shemerabah, 
El Marif Dach Hidute, Biamich Malchute, Mechai Echonne, Bimich Echonne, Mechai Echonne, Bein Israel, Magalavis Man Karib, Veimeru Amin, Yehesh Meirav Amevarach, Lealam Ulalame Almaya, Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Pad, Vit Roman, Vit Nasle, Vit Adal, Vit Alem, Vit Alal, Shemele Kudusha, Berichu, Leila mikom echad ha-meshirata, Mishpacha zava nechem atad, Amiran be'alma ve'imru, Amen. Yitkabel en tzela otonu ma'otonu v'ol Yisrael, Kod ha'ma v'oni v'ishmaya, Ve'imru, Amen. Yehesh lamara v'amin shmaya, Ve'chayim aleinu v'akol Yisrael, Ve'imru, Amen. Ohose shalom v'imromav, Uya ase shalom, aleinu v'alchon Yisrael ve'imeru ha'amen. Now we turn to our prayer books to page 168 as we begin our Seder Kriyat HaTorah, our Torah service for this Shabbat morning. Ein kamocha. Ein kamocha v'elohim Adonai ve'ein kema'asecha Malchutcha, malchut kol olamim, u'memshaltecha bechol dor v'ador. Adonai melech, Adonai malach, Adonai meloch, le'olam v'ed, Adonai oz le'amo yitain, Adonai evarech et hamo v'ashon dom, avar rachamim. Please rise. By him in so Aaron, by Omer Moshe, whom Adonai, they are food to Ivecha, they are no summesanecha, me panecha, he meets him, it's a Torah, he meets him, it's a Torah, whatever Adonai, me rushala. Seventy. <laughs> Adonai, 
And you may be seated. I invite you now to take your Chomashim, and we turn to page 1140, and here we pick up Parsha Kitavo. When you enter in the land the Lord God has given you, and very interesting case here, very interesting ceremony that they must do. It's called the first fruit ceremony. And this ceremony was done when they come into the land. They literally are supposed to take a basket of fruit, come to the temple, and to recite the passage that you can see in your Chumash beginning on page 1141 in the fifth chapter. Basically, my father was a fugitive. He went down to Egypt. And basically, a summary of what had happened in the last few hundred years, how we ended up as slaves in Egypt, and eventually God freed us from the land of Egypt. So a ceremony is laid out for the people. But this week's Parsha tells us something very interesting about how Jewish ceremonies have developed over the centuries. The person bringing that fruit basket continues reciting the passage, but we know from the Mishnah that the person bringing their offering of first fruits had to say this paragraph in Hebrew. In other words, everyone bringing the first fruits had to recite this biblical passage in Hebrew, even if they didn't know how to speak Hebrew. The priest had a system in place to help those who did not know Hebrew participate in this ritual. In other words, if your Hebrew wasn't good enough, they would help you. According to the mission, originally all who knew how to recite were recite, while those who did not know how to recite the Hebrew Others would read it for them, and then they would repeat the words after the priest. Therefore, those who do not know Hebrew can ask for someone to assist them in their reciting this important passage. In some ways, this story sounds like a modern one. Many of us know someone or, have, or know someone or maybe ourselves have felt uncomfortable in Jewish spaces due to our lack of Hebrew confidence. However, this ceremony, the first fruit ceremony, teaches us a powerful lesson in inclusion, which we can apply to ourselves and our institutions. The priest improved this ceremony by valuing inclusion without compromising their value of Hebrew language. We too can learn that inclusion is a core value which complements our system of Jewish traditions and improves our communities and ritual practices when we prioritize it. A reminder to us that, yes, Hebrew is our Lashon Kodesh. It is our holy language. We need to do even a better job teaching Hebrew, speaking Hebrew, reading Hebrew, writing Hebrew. But for those in our community who don't know Hebrew, let us make them feel comfortable too so they'll still come to our spaces. They'll still pray with us. They'll still be part of our community. The priests did it thousands of years ago. Surely we can continue to do that today. Now, we're very honored today to begin our Torah service as we bring forth Katie Robinson. Some of you may remember that Katie had her bat mitzvah at the very beginning of this pandemic, back in March, seems like an eternity ago. But Katie, because of who she is and the commitment that she has and her parents and her sister have, she has learned a brand new Torah portion. And she's come back today to have an official aliyah to the Torah and to officially become a bat mitzvah. So I'll have more to say to Katie at the end of our service, but it's a pleasure to have you here along with your parents and sister and all your friends and family that are watching as the cantor now calls you up for your bat mitzvah, Aliyah. Now with great pride and joy, we call on our bat mitzvah, Katie, to come to the Torah. Tamod ha-bachura ha-bat mitzvah, Rachel bat Elchanan v'sara, Rishon chizki, Ali le kabel Torah Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vayed. 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 Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leol
Now we continue with the second Aliyah, verses 4 through 8, page 1141, as we continue with the first fruit ceremony. By a ray who otanu, Hamishraim, by a nunu, by its new who alenu avo dot kasha, Fanis ha 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 ha, kill Adonai Elohe avotenu, by Yishma Adonai et kolenu, by yar et anyenu, viet amalenu, viet lachatsenu, by yotzienu Adonai mi Mishraim, by yad chazaka, uvis roat netu yaha, uv moraha ka adoho, uv otoho tufmoftehim. And now we begin the third Aliyah, verses 9 through 11, page 1141 through page 1142. 
Baruch Hu Atah Adonai Hambarach Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikal Ha'amin V'natan Lanu Et Tarato Baruch Atah Adonai Notein HaTorah Amen By the Enu El Amakoma Sev, I you ten Lanu, Etara Tazot, Eret Zavat, Halat Lubash, Bataha, Hine, Hefeti, Et Reshit, Periha Adamaha, Asher Nata, Tali Adonai, Behe Nakta. Lifne, I don't know, Elohecha, the Hishtaka Vita, Lifne, I don't know, Elohecha, the Samata, the Samata, Asher, Natan Laka, I don't know, Elohecha, Uve Teka, I top a Halevi, Bahagir, Asher Bakir Becha. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher notan lanu Torah emet, v'chayyeh olam natah v'tochenu, baruch atah Adonai, notain ha-Torah. And before we move to the next subject in our Torah portion, one more word about the first fruit ceremony. Here as we've seen, Moses told the people what to do when they finally arrived in the promised land and he instructed them as we've seen to put a piece of fruit from the new land, from the holy land, from the land of Israel into their basket, give it to the priests and say a few sentences in Hebrew about what they learned during their journey from slavery in Egypt to freedom, what they learned. Now my colleague and friend, Rabbi Yolanda Greenblatt writes the following, what if like the Israelites, we finally get that moment, God willing, soon, we've all been anticipating. Imagine there's a vaccine which has been definitely proven to prevent contracting COVID-19. So now, imagine for a moment, picture yourself in your doctor's office. The nurse comes to administer the vaccine to you, and you receive that vaccine, and when the nurse leaves, you smile with a wave of relief for having survived. And you whisper the Shekhianu prayer, thanking God for allowing you to reach this moment. Then as you get up to leave, there's a knock on the door and your rabbi walks in and hands you a basket and asks, what have you learned during this pandemic? What would you say? What object would you put in the basket to represent your experience? Let us remember that this month of Elul as we prepare for Rosh Hashanah prompts each of us to reflect on the personal lessons we have learned during this very challenging and unusual time. Let us now continue with the fourth Aliyah, page 1142, verses 12 through 15. Baruch Adonai Hamborach, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim V'Natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai No Ten HaTorah Amen Amen Kidakale Laaser Et Kom Asar Tivu Ataka Bashana Ashli Shana Hama Aser Vanatata La Levi Lagir La Yatom Vala Amana Baalu Bisharaka Vasaveu Baamata Ha 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 Vagam natati vla lai viva la gir la yatom vla amana Chacha misvatecha a asher tzivitani Lo avarti mi misvatecha vlo shachachti Lo achati b'onihi mi menu Vlo viarti mi menu putamehi Vlo natati mi menu lamehi shamati Vako adonai elohai asihi tika Thank <laughs> you. 
adama asher natatan lanu ka asher nishbata la avotenu eretz zavat kalav utvash. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu torat emet v'chaye olam natah v'tochenu Baruch atah Adonai no ten haTorah. Amen. Now we're ready to begin the fifth Aliyah, page 1143, verses 16 through 19. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachavonu Mikol Hamim V'Natan Lano Et Torato. Baruch Adonai Noten Atorah. Amen. Amen. Hayom Haseh Adonai Elohecha Mesavachal Asod Et Hachukim Ha'elev Et Hamishpatim. Vashamar Tava Asita Otam Bakalavavka Uvkal Nafshecha Et Adonai Marta Hayom Lihiyahod Lakal Eluhim Vlalekad Birachaha Vlishmor Chukav Mumisvotav Mishpatav Vlishmor Bakalom Vadonaha Hermicha Hayom Lihiyahod Lo Laam Sakula Ka Asher Di Birlaha Lishmor Kamis Votav, Utitaka El Yahohohon, Al Kalha Goyim, Ashir Asaha, Liti Liti Yod, Ulsham Ulsham Utith Aret, Vulihi Yotaka, Amkadosh, La Adonai Elohecha, Kashir Di Bear. So a word about the sixth Aliyah, which we are about to read on page 1144, chapter 27, verses 1 through 4. Very interesting here what happens when God commands the people to do once they enter the land as soon as they cross the Jordan into the Holy Land they are supposed to put up large stones coat them with plaster and inscribe upon them all the words of the Torah very unusual that's one of the first things you're supposed to do and imagine these large and they had to be pretty large stones to write all the words of the teaching of the Torah Many commentators have a lot to say. I want to share one commentary with you. Writing hundreds of years ago, the Abarbanel writes, what is the difference between Israel's Torah and the cultures of other nations? Other nations perpetuate their conquests and victories by putting up stone statues and monuments to their greatest warriors. But the Jewish people were commanded to set up great stones and to write on them all the words of the Torah. Reminder, what's ultimately most important, God and his teachings, the values and traditions that we find in the Torah. Let's now begin page 1144. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-Torah. Amen. Vayetzav Moshe v'zikne Yisrael et am le-mor, shamor et kol ha-mitzvah asher anokhi, v'tzavetchem hayam v'hayah v'yam, asher tavru et hayardain, el ha-retz asher anay lecha noten lach, Rachemet Hayardain Takimu et Avanim Hayla Asher Anokhi Mitzavet Chem Hayam Bahar Eval Vesadetal Tam 
מעשיד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם אשר נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן תמות שבי ברוך אדוני אמברך לעולם בה, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בחר בנו מכל המים ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. ובנית שם מזבח לאדוני אלוהיך, מזבח אבנים, לא תניף עליהם ברזל, אבנים שלמות תבנה את מזבח אדוני אלוהיך, ועלית עליו עולות לאדוני אלוהיך, וזבחת שלמים יאכלת שם, ושמחת לפני אדוני אלוהיך, וכתבת על אבנים את כל דברי התורה הזאת באר היטב. וידבר משה והכהנים הלוויים על כל ישראל אמור, הסכת ושמע ישראל, היום הזה נהיית לעם לאדוני אלוהיך, ושמעת בקור אדוני אלוהיך, ועשית מצוותיו ואת חוקיו אשר אנוכי מצוותך היום. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה אמן התקדל והתקדש שמי רבה, תלמד יברך לוטי ויאן מתמלכותי בחיי חון וביומי חון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך, ואל נאמרו לעולמי המעיין. יתברך וישבח וידבר וידמר וידנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה על שמי דקודשה. ריחו לעילה מכל ברכתה ושירתה. חוש בחטא ונחם אתה, תמירן בעלמא ואמרו. אמן. You may be seated. We'll now do a blessing for those who are ill among our congregation, family and friends. מי שבירה, as I recite the names in a moment, please feel free to add names to yourselves silently to the list of people we're praying for. מי שברך אבותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב, אמותינו שרה רבקה רחה ולאה, הוא יברך וירפא את החולים האלה. May the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, grant blessing and healing to the following members of our congregation, their family, and friends. אביגיל בת פרידל, אברהם ברוך בן יואל, בלה רבקה בת סורה לאה, חיה לאה בת מליה רחל, חונם ראובן בן רחל לאה, David Ben Tamara, Devorah Rachel Bat Chana Sarav Vizalman Bear, Elia Leib Ben Faya Esther, Elise Bat Sarah, Lea Bat Eleanor, Leib Ben Gershom, Misha Chaya Bat Chana Etka, Moshe Pesach Ben Fegela, Mordechai Ben Simcha, Moshe Aaron Ben Yaakov, Natan Ben Lea, Rachel Bat Avraham Vizara, Rachel Bat Batya, Rav Pinchas Ben Etarut, Sarah Bat Yehudit Edit, Shabotai Ben Kela, Shai Ber Ben Chaim Samson, Shmuel Ben Perla, Shulamit Yaakova Bat Fruma, Simcha Michal, Yitzchak Ben Eliezer Cohen, Yosef Yaakov Ben Bela Rivka, C. Ryan Anderson, Shelley Arsham, Bertha Berdachevsky, Asher Berman, Andy Bernstein, Lillian Elise Boza, uh, Max Breyer, Lynn Butcher, Celine Chazen, Mayor Chaskin, Michelle Weiss Cohen, David Kotner, Deborah Danforth, Marla Davidoff, Elise DeFord, Alexander Dillingham, Nancy Jingle, Jeffrey Feinstein, 
Betty Fried Friedman, Barbara Goldmar, Joe Gittleman, Christopher Glazer, Ruben Grinstein, David Gurren, Frida Harris, Suzanne Harrison, Virginia Jeannie Hattenbach, uh, Chase Hessen and Jim Loretta and Denise Myers, Patty Hickman, Alexandra Hoffman, um, Oscar Hoffman, Paul Hoffman, Simon Hoffman, Jerry Hooks, Orlando Jimenez, Michael Kirkpatrick, Donna Lapsey, Max Lapsey, Olga Lera, Carl Lentz, Marie Leone, Barbara Lindenberg, Herman Litt, Rachel Nino, Gloria Pepper, Isidore Rychek, uh, Greg Rodriguez, Diane Rosenberg, Bernadine Rosenblatt, Rita Sue Rosenfeld, Marion Sheps, Jeremiah Scott, Scott Selzer, Jerry Shainock, Diane Shapiro, Richard Shapiro, Jeffrey Simon, Roger Sofer, Lucia Susie, Kirby, Helen, Kirby and Helen Tayer, Guillermo and Martha Vasquez, Linda Vega, Jerry Wasserstein, Lily Weinbach, Esther Weinstein, Mary Wolf, George Mike Zotskin, and Aaron Kiriati, uh, Bela Botch Brinzer Pearl, Billy Turner, Billy Layden, Chaim Laser Ben Taiba, Hannah Batsvi, Daniel Ben Shulamit, Don Kobos, George Noon, Ger Gerrit Hohendorf, Herschel Chaim Ben Hanna, Israel Ben Gittel, James Whitehead, ja Janelle Kaiser, Bill Gregory, Fui Fa Mai Tifam, Rex Marco, Sarah Bat Yehudit, Sarah Gittel Bat Freda, Shana Bat Liba Bat Esther, Shana Hanna Bat Tova Rose, Shmuel Zavel Halevi Ben Rezel, and Yosef Ben Mala, and all the others in our congregation, their friends and family who are ill. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yemalei Rachamim Aleihem Lachzikam L'Rapotam V'Yishlach Lehem Mehira Fua Shlema Min HaShemayim Rafuat HaNefesh Rafuat HaGuf Betoch Sharkol L'Israel Shabbat Himilzok Rafuat Krova Lavo Hashda Ba'agalav Azman Karviv V'Nomar Amen May God grant their doctors and caretakers wisdom and insight to helping them to get stronger and healthier and give them strength and endurance to help with the healing process Amen Amen. <laughs> Amen. We rise for Hagba and Galila. The Zot HaTorah, Asher Samoshe, Lifnei Bnei Yisrael, Afi Adonai, Yad Moshe. Torah, 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 Tzivah Lanun Moshe. And you may be seated. I first want to give a big thank you to Michael Richger for doing a beautiful job reading Torah this morning, always a pleasure, and we're looking forward as you will chant some of the Haftorah on second day Rosh Hashanah, so we're looking forward to that as well, and always your involvement, Michael. 
And that brings me to our Haftar orator today. It's a pleasure, Nava, to have you here as well, Nava Smith-Litbach. It's always a pleasure to have our young people, and Nava is not only chanting Haftarah today, but she is going to be chanting Haftarah on the first day of Rosh Hashanah. So you have honored us both times during this month. So thank you, Nava. And Nava now will begin with the blessing before, and then she'll be reading from the book of Isaiah, page 1,161. It's the sixth Haftarah of Consolation. We have one more, and then, of course, Rosh Hashanah. There's seven altogether, all from the prophet Isaiah, as we get just a little bit closer to Rosh Hashanah. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Benavim Tovim Beratzave Divrehem Hanemarim Be'emet Baruch Adonai Habocher Batura Uv Moshe Abdo Uv Israel Amo Uvim Vie Haemet Vat Sedek Kumi Ori Kiva Orech Uchvod Adonai Alaich Tsarach Kihine Hahosha Hirhase Eretz Vaarafel Umim Ve alaich Yisrach Adonai, Uchvodo alaich Yirae. Ve halaich goyim le orech, Umlachim le nogos barcheich. Se isavi vanaich, or e kulam nik betsuba ulach, Vanaich merachok yavo u, Uvnotaich altsad te amana. As she reeve in a heart, Ufahad verahab live a veg, Kia hafeg alayich, Hamon yam, Hel go yim yavo ulach, Shifat gemalim techaseg, Bihre midian ve efa, Kulam eshiva yavo u, Zahab ulvona yisa u. Utilot Adonai Yevar Seiru, Kod Sod Kedar Yikavetsu Lach, Ele Nevayot Yesharetunech, Ya Alu Al Ratzon Mizbechi, Uve Tifarti Afa Er, Mi Ele Kaab Te Ufena, Vechayonim El Arubotehem, Kili Ihiyim. Yikavu ve onio tarshish barishona te lechavi banach mirachok kaspam uzvaham itim le shame Adonai Elohayich velikdosh Yisrael kife arach uvanu venenechar homotayich. Um lachem yeshare tune, ki ve kits pi hik tih, uvi ratsoni riham tih. Barachatadonai lohenu melecha olam, sur koha olamim, sadik bechol hadorot, ha el hane eman, ha omer veose, hamdaber um kayem, shekol devarab, emet bat sedek, ne eman, atahu adonai lohenu, vene emanim devarecha, ve davarechad mit varecha, ahor lo yeshu brekam, ki el melech ne eman, baruchata adonai. Ha'el hane eman bechol devarav. Rachem al Zion ki hi beit hayenu vela aluvat nefesh toshia bimchera veyamenu baruch ata Adonai. Mesamer Zion bevanecha. Amen. Samchenu Adonai Eloheinu veEliyahu hanavi avdecha uvmachut be David meshichecha bimhera yavo veYagel libenu. Al ki solo yeshev zar velo yinchalu racherim et kivodo ki v'shem kotshecha nishvata lo sheloich bene rolo lam vaed baruch ata Adonai. Baruch Hashem. Magen David. 
Al HaTorah, Ve'al HaAvodah, Ve'al HaNivi'im, Ve'al Yom HaShabbat HaZeh, Shenatata Lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Likdusha Ve'limnucha, Lechavod Ultifaret. Al HaKol, Adonai Eloheinu, Anachnu Modim Lach, Umevarchim Otach, Yitbarach Shem HaVevi Kol Hai, Tamid Le'olam Ba'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. Thank you, Navi Yishkoach, on a beautiful job as always. And now let us return to our prayer books. Um, excuse me. Actually, before we turn to our prayer books, we bring upon our Congregational President, Jared Bloom, to lead us in a prayer for the United States and Israel. Almighty God on high, omnipotent King, look down from your heavenly abode and bless the United States of America. May our leaders strive to establish justice and opportunity for all, and may they be successful in bringing peace to the family of nations. May you favor rest upon our beloved state of Israel, its land, and all those who dwell therein. Protect Israel from war and hatred, and may our Jewish state bring comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, and new hope to all humanity. We ask your blessing upon the valiant servicemen and women of the American military forces and the Israel Defense Forces who risk their lives to protect the welfare of all your creation. Be their shelter and fortress and do not allow them to falter. Fill their hearts with faith and courage. Protect them on land, in the air, and on the sea. Guide them in peace, lead them towards peace, and return them speedily to their families alive and unharmed. And let us all together say, Amen. Amen. Now we open up our prayer books, page 181. As the cantor leads us in the ashray. Ashri Yoshvei Betecha Odi Alalu Please rise. seated. Shabbat Shalom. Over the past six months, I have sometimes found myself thinking about Anne Frank. Two years ago, our family took a vacation to Amsterdam. We saw many marvelous sights, beautiful artwork and architecture, relaxing boat rides along the canals, the famous windmills, the old Jewish quarter. We ate stroop waffles, Dutch fries with cheese sauce, Dutch pancakes, both savory and sweet, Dutch chocolate, and a variety of Dutch cheeses and we also visited the Anne Frank House. We took the tour in which we saw the tiny space that this young teenager occupied with her immediate family and a couple of other people. Seven people all together 
hid from the Nazis for 25 months in this tiny space. Walking through the narrow passageways and up the even narrower staircases, it was hard to imagine how these seven people survived for so long in hiding. Never able to come out for fresh air, hardly able to move lest they be heard by someone and then discovered. Even then I realized how awful it must have been to have to live in such tight quarters for such a long time. But now, many of us have had a somewhat similar experience, of course, to a much, much lesser degree. We're fortunate to be able to live in our comparatively spacious, air-conditioned, fully furnished homes with Wi-Fi, computers, cell phones, and cable television. We can occasionally go out to take a walk and even go to the store if we are careful. We can see our friends in small groups if we're careful. And so far, it has only been six months, not 25 months. But we can also feel isolated, lonely, disoriented, and even at times despondent. Even with our comparatively luxurious semi-confinement, semi and so when I think of Anne Frank, I'm inspired by the tenacity and the perseverance that she and her companions were able to achieve. Thinking about Anne Frank puts our experience in perspective. They survived for 25 months in self-imposed captivity until someone exposed their secret. And of course, Anne's life came to a tragic end at Bergen-Belsen only months before the end of the war. But hundreds of millions of people all over the world know her story. They know her story because she wrote her story in her diary, and her diary survived. And her father, who also survived, published her diary. But Anne Frank's story is inspiring not simply because she survived for 25 months in hiding. It is inspiring because so many of the things that she wrote in her diary. For instance, I want to share with you this short passage that she wrote. I finally realized that I must do my schoolwork to keep from being ignorant, to get on in life, to become a journalist, because that's what I want. I know I can write, but it remains to be seen whether I really have talent. And if I don't have the talent to write books or newspaper articles, I can always write for myself. But I want to achieve more than that. I can't imagine living like Mother or Mrs. Van Don and all the women who go about their work and are then forgotten. I need to have something besides a husband and children to devote myself to. I want to be useful or bring enjoyment to all people, even those I've never met. I want to go on living even after my death. And that's why I'm so grateful to God for having given me this gift, which I can use to develop myself and to express all that's inside of me. When I write, I can shake off all my cares. My sorrow disappears. My spirits are revived. But, and, and that's the big question, will I ever be able to write something great? Will I ever become a journalist or a writer? What's inspiring about Anne Frank is that she's painfully aware of her impossible situation. And yet she discovers her mission in life to be a writer and she pursues that mission with a passion, even while trapped in a tiny building with several other people all day long for months. She manages to set aside her immediate concerns and focus on her life goal. She's inspiring because at the same time, she expresses how grateful she is to God that she has discovered her passion. She's grateful that she has this gift of writing. Even in this horrible situation she's found herself in, she's also found something to be grateful for. And she's inspiring because she hopes to use her talent to inspire others. It's truly sad that she did not live to find out just how famous her diary became. She never learned how many people would admire her talent for writing. Now I've been thinking about Anne Frank and her diary for months, but I decided to share these thoughts this week because of a very well-known passage that 
Rabbi Strauss mentioned in his remarks earlier, a passage that's very famous in the Torah that I hope you'll recognize. And just as Rabbi Strauss learned something from the passage for our situation today, I also learned something from this passage today. But first, I want to read to you the entire passage. My father was a wandering Aramean. He went down to eat only a small clan to settle for a short time. There he became a great big nation. But the Egyptians dealt harshly with us and oppressed us. They burdened us with crushing labor. We cried out to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our plea and saw our plight, our misery, and our oppression. The Lord freed us from Egypt by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and awesome power and by signs and wonders. And he brought us to this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I now bring the first fruits of the soil, which you, O Lord, have given me. Now, you may have recognized these words as they're buried in the Passover Haggadah. If you didn't recognize them, don't worry. Some modern Haggadahs leave these words out, although they were originally supposed to be the centerpiece of the Passover ritual. Your Haggadahs at home may also use a different translation, so you may not have recognized those exact words, or it might have been one of those passages skipped over at your Seder. But in any case, these words are found in the beginning of the Torah portion we read this morning, and they're a short summary of the history of our people from the time of the patriarchs to the enslavement in Egypt, and finally, to successful landowners and farmers in our homeland, Israel. But as I read these words this year, they also gave me comfort and hope. Like so many other people, we have been socially isolating ourselves because of the COVID-19 virus. But we also know there are many other people suffering much worse, losing their jobs. Some are about to be evicted from their homes. Those who have been stricken by the virus, others who have lost relatives or friends to it. And so as I read this passage in the Torah that we read this morning, I found comfort in this short summary of our people. These words that form the core of our Passover Seder remind us that we were once wandering, homeless people, and then we were slaves in Egypt. But God brought us out of the darkness and misery of bondage with a strong hand and an outstretched arm with marvels and miracles. And more than that, God led us to a land flowing with milk and honey where we could live and prosper as free people again. No longer homeless, no longer helpless, no longer strangers in a strange land. My colleague and teacher, Rabbi David Golinkin, suggested three lessons we can learn from this short passage in the Torah. Three lessons that I believe provide a Jewish response to our modern day plague. The first lesson is our personal identification with the history of our people. My father, my father was a wandering Aramean, the Torah would have each of us say. The Egyptians dealt harshly with us, oppressed us, we cried to God, and the Lord heard our plea and our misery and freed us from Egypt. We are to identify with the misery of our ancestors and with their redemption. We are to imagine that we experienced this suffering and salvation ourselves. We are thus prepared for the hardships that we might face in our own lives today. We have been through much worse in the past. We recovered from those situations, and we can and we will recover today. The second lesson is the proverbial attitude of gratitude. The Israelite farmer was supposed to recite these words after harvesting his crops in the spring, and a successful farmer might be tempted to think he earned this success and fortune on his own by the sweat of his own brow. And indeed, it usually is the case that if we do hard work, it does bring rewards. But the Torah reminds us that it's not our hard work alone that has enabled us to put food on the table and a roof over our heads. We have been blessed by God with good weather usually, with fertile land or other business opportunities, with God-given brains and insights that help us to make the most of our physical and personality strengths and natural resources. But it is especially at times like this when our world is so out of balance 
that we ought to look for and appreciate the blessings we so often take for granted. Diane and I are grateful that we're employed, that we can do much of our work at our homes, and we're grateful that our son is with us going to school, virtually online, of course. We're grateful for our friends and our community, all of you, and we're grateful that we are still healthy so far. But there are, of course, many people who have been truly devastated and can find little to be grateful for right now. And our prayers are with them that they too will come to find comfort, safety, and security in the days and months ahead. And that is where the third lesson we learn from this passage in the Torah comes in. The third lesson, according to Rabbi Lincoln, is that we should extend our concern and our compassion toward those who are disadvantaged or who are suffering in our society. Right after the farmer makes his declaration about how his father was a wandering Aramean and now he is in a land flowing with milk and honey and is therefore bringing a portion of his crops to the priest to thank God for all the blessings that he has received, right after he makes this declaration, the Torah tells us, you shall enjoy together with the Levite and the stranger in your midst all the bounty that the Lord your God has bestowed upon you and your household. Our memory and identification with our ancestors who were homeless wanderers and slaves and our attitude of gratitude for the gifts that God has graciously given us are supposed to inspire us with a sense of compassion for those who are now suffering as our ancestors once suffered so that we will share the bounty that the Lord has given us with those who are burdened by their losses. Anne Frank, too, found something to be grateful for. She was grateful to God for her gift of writing, and she hoped she would be able to share her gift to give hope to others, and so she did. As we reflect on our ancestors' story and the story of Anne Frank, may we, too, be inspired to find something to be grateful for in our lives, and may we also share our gifts with those in need. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Steve. Yishkoach. And now let us rise as we begin our Musaf service, page 184. <laughs> Hagalav is man karif, Eimeru amen, Yehesh me rabba mevorach, Le'alam olal me'al ma'ya, Yitabarach, Yishtabach v'itpar v'itroma v'itnasei, V'itadai v'itale v'italal, Shemei nekudesha berichu, Le'elam yikol v'chada v'shirata, V'vchada v'lechem ata, L'amiran be'al ma'vei, Eimeru, Join together the opening of the Amidah, page 185. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohei avoteinu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah Ha'el lagadol lagibor v'hanora el elyon Omel chazadim tovim mekonei hakol Bezocher chastei avot Omevi goheli v'nei v'neihem L'ma'an shemo b'ahava Melech hozer ufokeinu moshia u'magein Baruch ata Adonai Ufokein Avraham ufokein tsara Ata gimor le'olam Adonai Mechayei metim ata Rav Lehoshia, Mechalkel Chaim Bechezek, Mechayei Metim Berachamim Rabim, Zomech Noflim Berofei Cholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekahayei Mehemolado, Nishene Oh, 
Pages 
And you may be seated as you conclude the Amidah. We continue with Kadish Shalem, page 203. Gedalvi <laughs> Join together, page 204. <speaking in Hebrew> So Katie, I'm going to ask you to come up to the Bima. This is a chance to present you some gifts and talk a little bit about you and to honor you. She officially became a bat mitzvah today. So Katie, I'll have you stand right here at the top of these steps. So Katie, in celebration of your great simcha, we're happy to have presented you some wonderful gifts, a beautiful sadaka box from our Beth Yashurin Sisterhood, a kiddush cup from our 100 Jewish men, a gift certificate to one of our local kosher restaurants. This week you get Genesis Steakhouse, a gift certificate to the Evelyn Rubenstein Jewish Community Center, a $100 State of Israel bond, courtesy of the AI and Manette Sheps Israel Bonding Fund, and of course, a certificate, a bat mitzvah, which I know you'll remind you of all that you did to become a bat mitzvah. Fortunately, because of who you are and the support of your family, despite the pandemic, it's been a very positive Jewish experience for you and a positive life experience. We had cut out a lot of the pop and circumstance before back in March, thinking everything would be fine and you'd be able to join your sister Abby this upcoming January. Who would have known how long and how long we believe this pandemic will continue to last? So Abby's bat mitzvah has been postponed, and so you wanted to still learn, have an aliyah, and read Torah now before it became too long. That's the type of person you are, and that's how much you care about your Judaism. So we're proud of what you did in March. And we're very proud of what you've done today. You've made a great statement of how much our tradition means to you. Now, Katie, you're a Florida girl who was born in Wellington, Florida, near West Palm Beach, before you moved here to Texas seven years ago. You attended our day school and religious school, and now you've begun eighth grade at Trafton Middle School. You're sweet, kind, and generous to everyone you know. I think it's something I've seen at religious school, and I think many people have seen that are watching us today. You have a big, you have a huge love tov, a good heart, a big heart, and your parents appreciate that, and their friends do as well. And in many ways, you're the sunshine of their lives along with your sister, Abby, and always have been. Your way of making people smile and laugh, even on their worst days. And you're often a counselor to your friends and like to help them work out disagreements. Your understanding and simply love to teach others. You set a great example with your infectious spirit, upbeat personality, and optimistic character, often looking at the bright side. 
And that big heart that you have has allowed you to enjoy volunteering. Every year at Hanukkah, as you did this past year, you dedicate one night not to get gifts for yourself, but to give to children at St. Jude's Hospital to help them. You also volunteered at the Houston Food Bank, and you'll be giving 10% of your monetary contributions to St. Jude, excuse me, monetary gifts for your bat mitzvah to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Again, showing how much you care for others, even those you don't know. When you're not busy doing well in school, you love to sing, act, and dance, and theater is your passion. You performed musical theater at the JCC for the past six years, slowly going from background characters to lead roles. I'm not surprised. And you love to play the clarinet in the band, and you're a cheerleader at your school, Trafton, and you recently became the captain of the team. Well done. And you're also an advanced skier and love to snorkel and golf. So you certainly keep busy, and yet you found time again to study Torah, the most important activity of all. When I asked you back in the spring, what does this all mean to you to become a bat mitzvah? You told me, Rabbi, it's a doorway to new opportunities. Now I can sit and be with even with adults, be on par with them. I'm now a Jewish adult. I've shown that I care, that I can learn, that Judaism means a lot to me. And you have. And now it will be up to you, Katie, in the years ahead. Will you continue that learning, continue that commitment? whether it's in school, Kielahai, here at Beth Yashern, or whatever Jewish activities you have in store for your future. I hope you will, because the Jewish people need people like yourself with those good hearts and that infectious spirit and that kind and sweet and warm personality to enhance our people, to continue the passion and the commitment the Jewish people have had for centuries of helping make the world a better place. So Katie, I look forward to seeing it happen I know how much your parents have laid out for you that great foundation, and I am very proud of you today. And so in honor of you, I'm going to ask everyone to rise as the cantor and I first bless Katie with the blessings of our people, the priestly blessings, and then we recite a Shekhyanu. <laughs> May God always bless you and keep you. May God always show you his favor and be gracious to you. May God always show you kindness and give you that greatest gift of all, that of shalom, that of peace. And let us say, Amen. Aruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shehecheyanu, Vekiyamanu, Vehigiyanu, Lazman Hazeh. Blessed you, Lord our God, King of the Universe, who's kept us in life, sustained us, and allowed us to reach this special moment. For you, Katie, and your proud parents, Stacy and Andy, your sister, Abby, your grandparents, Ellen and Gary Robinson, Joyce and Robbie Robertson, and all your friends and family that are gathered here today and watching us online. God, we thank you for allowing us to reach this special moment. And let us say, Amen. Thank you, Katie. You're welcome. <laughs> and you're allowed to return to your seat if you like. And I ask everyone to remain standing as the cantor leads us in the Elena. Aleinu le shabeach laton hakol, laten gedula le yotzer brishit, shelo asanu ke goye haratzot, velo samanu ke mishpachot adama, shelo sam chelkeinu kahem, vegor aleinu ke chol hamonam, banachnu korim, umishtachabim umodim, lifne melech malachi hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu, Shehun not the Jamaim be Yosef Daaretz, Moshe Megaro ba Jamaim imal, Shchina tuzo, Shchina tuzo, be Gophei meromim, Hu Eloheinu Eloh, Emet Malkeinu Emet Zulato, Takatu 
tornato, mi ha dato io, mi ha dato io, ma c'è botta e le paverza, mi ha donato io, Elohim, pascia mai mi, ma al me all'arez, me all'arez, mi tachat e non, venne e ma, le ha ya donai, le mele fal col ha, And now we invite all those in mourning and all those observing a yurt site to remain standing, whether here or at home, for the words of the Mourner's Kaddish, page 207. Yitzgadal v'yikadash shemei rava. V'yalmad v'yivrach yiruteh v'yamlik machuteh v'chayichon v'yomechon v'chayeh d'chol b'yit Yisrael v'agalav v'zman kari v'yimru amen. Yehei shemei rava mevorach le'olam omea maya. Yit barach, viet shabach, viet bar, viet roman, viet nase, viet adar, viet alev, viet alal, shemei de kudusha, marichu, le ela min kol berkata, vashirata, tish bechata, venechemata, da miram, vi ama, vi emru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, vachayim aleinu, vi akol, Yisrael, vi emru, amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya ase shalom, aleinu, vi akol, Yisrael. Amen. You may be seated. Just a few announcements to share with you. Any questions that you have about the upcoming high holidays, please go to our website. All your questions can be answered there. But if you still have questions, we have virtual office hours every day this week from, excuse me, Monday through Thursday of this week from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can go on our website, ask your questions, or just contact us here in the office and let us know any questions you have. A week from tonight, we begin the high holiday season really gets underway with Slichot. It's a week from tonight at 10 p.m. We're allowing 20 members to come to the Slichot service. So make sure to sign up if you'd like to come. And if not, watch us virtually for the Slichot service a week from tonight here in the Bark Sanctuary at 10 p.m. We have some wonderful programs online this week, Feminism and Egalitarianism, Conservative and Orthodox Views with Rabbi Ford and a special guest. We have some of our meditation programs. We have a program with Israeli chef and entrepreneur, Michael Solonominov. So I hope you'll join for that. And that's uh, all upcoming this week and all the information can be found online. And most importantly, as many of you heard last night, we began our partnership with Reynolds Elementary School. And I'm at your school here in the Houston area. And we have an opportunity to make a difference. So you can go online to our website. We have an Amazon wish list of school supplies that are badly needed by students at that elementary school. It's very easy to do. You order it through Amazon. It's shipped right to the school, and it shows that community that we here in our community care and are trying to make a difference. And this is just the beginning of a partnership that we hope will be a long-term partnership, not just donating gifts, but also an opportunity to volunteer there and to tutor there and to do what we can to help and give to the needs of our inner city black brothers and sisters here in Houston. So I hope you have an opportunity to get involved and make a difference, whether it's now or later when this pandemic ends, to show that we care about this new partnership in our congregation. And now with that, we're ready to bring our service to a close as the cantor first leads us in a don alum, and then we rise for the Kiddush. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol, Yetzir Nibra, Leyek Nasa, Vechem Tzokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Veyacharei Kichlot Hakol, Levado Im Loch Nora, Vehu Haya, Vehu Hove, Vehu Yie Beti Vara, Vehu Echad, the 
Please rise for the Kiddush and the Hamotzi. Oh, excuse me, just the Kiddush. Amen. Good Shabbos, everyone.